Maestro.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to teach you the cello line of Elvis's Hound Dog. There are three chords C, F, and G major. So, I'm going to do two versions of this an easier version um, with uh, just the root of each chord, and then I'm going to do one um, where we're with a slightly more complicated pattern. So first of all um, we're going to play um, just a single note pattern. So we're also going to incorporate a chop into this. So the chop is just this technique here where you're whacking the string, whacking the bow in the string. So in order to get that sort of percussive sound we're going to play the heel of the bow, the bottom two inches of the bow, you're going to plaster the bow with lots of rosin, uh, tilt the bow hair slightly away from you and you just whack it up. string down while you're doing that. So we're good. So in the first, so there are two beats in the bar, so two four. However, we're going to subdivide that. So on the first beat, we're going to play the C note. On the second quaver of the bar, we're going to do the chop. On the second half of the second beat, we're going to do the note again. And then on the fourth quaver beat, we're going to do a chop. So that's how I suggest. So there are uh, four bars of C. So for the C chord we're going to play bottom C and then we're going to play 
first finger E on the D string, second finger C, which sounds like this. In fact, uh, what we'll do is for the bottom two notes, we'll play the C and the G together. So we'll double stop it, and then we're going to double stop the top two notes. So there's the bottom bit of the chord, top, like that. Then we'll put that together with, get together with the chop. So you got one, chop, three, four. chop on the string that you're about to play. So, so that's the C chord. Now the F chord, there are lots of different ways we can do this, but I'm choosing to play fourth finger F on the C string and then second finger F on the D string with an open A. So it has a really lovely open ringing sound. So it's really cool. C, one bar G, so this is open G, and then open D and B on the top, so it's like this, so two, one bar G, and then back to one bar of F, then we've got um, two bars of C with this triplet rhythm, with the drumming pattern, uh, and what I do is I play, you could just play the open C string, I'd like to play the fourth finger C on the G string as well. And I just think it sounds a bit cooler, gives us a bit more depth. So those are the two patterns. So I'm going to play that second pattern. So this is harder. So if, if you've really nailed the first pattern, well done, fantastic. This is for those people that have nailed that and want to do something a little bit um, from here. So I'm going to play you a little bit of the um, song again, uh, just to demonstrate the second pattern. So here we go. You ain't nothing but a four. Thank <laughs> you. 